I didn't sleep much last night um, because I knew I was getting this in the mail today. This is a Yamaha CGTA, CG classical guitar, TA transacoustic, because it has this transacoustic technology in it. So you can get um, reverb and chorus out of this without actually plugging it in, but uh, you can still plug it in. I think it still has to run on the battery uh, for the effects, I'm sure. Um, and I, I like Yamaha. Um, it's spruce and the back and sides are open call, whatever that is. I really like that it has a satin finish on the neck instead of the uh, glossy finish they put on a lot of necks of mass produced classical guitars. And this guitar it sounds okay. These strings, I think, make it sound dull. tension on the bass strings and high tension on the treble strings and their Yamaha S10 strings according to the specs of uh, the manufacturer. Um, and I'll tell you some stuff here about it. You have your controls up here and you press it down about two seconds here and then you get your reverb and stuff. That's the hall reverb turned all the way up. Um, I think it's part of the pickup system that's in here. There's like a rattle in here and I'll let you hear it if I play a passage like a... There it is right there, just on this fret. Around the 10th fret. I'm not sure if that's audible right now. sounds like you're playing in a cathedral then there's also this uh if you back it off some on the reverb the hall reverb that is it sounds about like that And then there's a room reverb. Let's hear that. And I'll just max it out on that.
I'm just addicted to that. <laughs> addictive and it does sound good like I said save for that right there there's like a little rattle I'm not sure if it's a defect with the pickup system in here but it's just right there Then there's chorus, you know, for people uh, who like to listen, you know, to Cocteau Twins and The Police and Joy Division, New Order, whatever. <laughs> I'm kind of one of them guys. Here's your chorus turned down. <laughs> Kind of hear how it projects. It's cool. It's kind of got like a merry-go-round kind of sound, you know. <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. it out and uh, it's like syrup <laughs> so much of it you know it, it can date your sound you know it sound like you're from the 80s I just want to hear the the reverb. That's really why I got this guitar. And I may return it. I don't know. We'll see how practical it is. What applications I can use it in. You know. It's back to the hall reverb. Because I want to sound like I'm playing Carnegie Hall. <laughs>
see myself playing this for hours. That's about as much as I'm going to play. Um, it's made in China. Uh, let's see if there's something else I'm going to say. Right here is where you put your batteries in. Okay. You open it right here. And uh, this bit here comes out. Kind of like a bar almost. See that? All right. You put that back in. You struggle with it like I do. <laughs> There you go, it goes back in. And uh, like I said, you press that down for two seconds. And then you got your sounds. Well, sometimes. <laughs> there it is. That's cool, you know. I would like to see where they go with this technology here in five years. Because I think right now they need to work out a few bugs with it, you know. But this is... Uh, this is nice, you know, to play around the house. I'm not sure how it would work in a coffee shop. And like I said, you can still plug this thing in here to a PA or you got a little app or something. You know, you can still use the effects on it. So there's that. And I haven't plugged that in yet, you know. So I haven't tried that out. And I do want to say, um, it looks like there may be a few issues here, and, and uh, it looks like there's just a little bit of glue here, but only if you get up and you just look at it, you know, if you're inspecting it, you know, with a microscope, you know, and, uh, you know, it's not uh, the most uh, elegantly built classical guitar, but I think it would be practical, you know, especially for a beginner or intermediate. I dig it, you know. This is basically a cheap Yamaha build, and what it is, is you're really paying for the transacoustic system that's inside. So this is roughly about $699 with tax. I'm, I don't know, 700 and something dollars, I don't know. Um, but like I said, you're just paying for this system in here, really. That's the way I feel. They took the cheapest guitar that they could find for Yamaha, and from Yamaha. And Yamaha does make great stuff, don't get me wrong. And they put this system in here, which is cool. So for everyone who likes, you know, everything in one package, this is cool, you know. So I would give it three and a half stars okay i'm gonna leave off a half star just because i see some things uh with the build and like i said it's got that little rattle you know but that's it the tuners are great by the way they turn with ease so that's all i'm gonna play today and uh I appreciate y'all watching this uh, review for this Yamaha CGTA. It is cool. And I may upload some more videos later. We'll see how that is. Till next time. <laughs>